I know I said this last episode, but today is the day we could win the pre In fact, let me rephrase this. Today is the day we either win the Premier League title or we bottle it in the most incredible way possible. So the last episode was the 1-1 draw against Manchester United in the league and there's been no games played since then, um, apart from the Europa League. So this is how the Premier League table looks, just for a little bit of a refresher. We are six points clear with two games to go and a plus 16 goal difference. Our opponents today are Leicester City away from home up first and then Manchester City at home at the final game of the season. Now, if we don't win the Premier League from this position, something has went seriously wrong and I will resign. No, I won't. I won't resign until after the Europa League. So let's just get into it. This game could be the final game of the season where we are not Premier League champions. I'm fully expecting at least a draw against Leicester. A draw would be enough to see us seal the title today. So I'm hoping that we can do just that. This is going to be the lineup then for today's game. Leno in goal, Bellerin, Socrates, David Luiz and Kieran Tini in the defence. Lucas Torreira, Matteo Guendouzi in the centre, Nicholas Pepe, Mesut Ozil, Everton and Aubameyang leading the line. Away from home, Leicester are very, very good this season. They're in fifth position, so they are getting European football and they have been pretty much around the top for the entire uh, way along, with, along the way. And they're obviously doing very, very well in real life so football manager has got this one pretty much spot on they've got some fantastic fantastic players but they are not as good as us on paper they are definitely not we have had a stupendous season really when you think about it we've only lost twice and despite a number of concern and draws it's not by the end of the world by any means and the fact that we are on the verge of winning the premier league title with arsenal in the very first season topple and manchester city and liverpool I think is huge. A draw does it today. Let's kick off. The boys walk out and we kick off against Leicester. The first highlight of the game comes two minutes in straight away. It's Leicester in possession in their own final third. Um, and the long ball's played over the top for Jamie Vardy. He doesn't have the pace to beat David Luiz. Let's see if we can build here. Everton brings it down on this left-hand side. Gets past his man. The ball ricochets its way back to Kieran Tini. And Everton's in the box. And that is a fantastic save by Kasper Schmeichel to keep the scores level at 0-0. And it's Torreira to play the corner. It's played in. It's cleared by Suyunku, was it? And then Madison can come away with it for Leicester. I would imagine this is the end of highlight. There it is. Highlight now, 11 minutes in. James Madison goes on a dart and run. He beats three men and he's in behind. And he goes for goal two inches or so wide. Our boys need to be careful out there. One other way we could win the league title uh, is Liverpool not winning. They have Brighton at home, so I can't imagine that's going to be too much uh, of an opportunity for us. Manchester City are also level on points with Liverpool, if I'm imagining correctly, but they are much further behind on goal difference. So Liverpool are still the main contenders for the Premier League title. But uh, let's see how the rest of this game goes. Half an hour in, it looks like Leicester are pretty much on top here. They've had uh, the majority of the highlights, and Harvey Barnes gets dispossessed by Evan on Torreira. Can maybe pounce a counter-attack as Aubameyang brings it down nicely. He goes for goal again. Another decent save by Kasper Schmeichel to keep Leicester in this. We yeah, Manchester City are already winning. 2-0 um, at home against Southampton. We will look to get the league table up. We'll give it a clearer picture of what is actually happening in today's game. Was it was it Manchester United who were involved in the title challenge? I can't even remember you now. It's already forgotten. Um, Hector Bellerin with the ball and he plays it in the back post. It's cleared by Ricardo Pereira. And Leicester do well to get clear as Dennis Pre plays the ball out. We give the ball back to James Madison, who's dark. He's, he's had a good couple of opportunities now. And he goes for goal again, but Burnt Leno is equal to it. I think we maybe need to change some things here. We're definitely going to lower the tempo, go to a slightly shorter passing, and go to a more positive team mentality just to try and retain possession, get control of this game, and stop the Leicester counter attacks if at all possible. But as you can see, as things stand, we win the Premier League title. Manchester City are winning, but the four points behind us if we draw. <laughs> if we draw. The highlight continues with Everton. Plays it back to Ozil. Gwen Doozy now. Just play it to Nicholas Pepe and Hector Bellerin. That's it, boys. You've made the right decisions. Bellerin now. Can he whip the cross in? He can. Mesut Ozil is there. And that is an absolute guilt-edged opportunity. Mesut Ozil should be putting us 1-0 up there. Half an hour remaining in the match. We are still winning the title as things stand. 
Leicester need to score to stop us from winning today. And there is another highlight. Socrates switches the play to Kieran Taney on this left-hand side. He goes back to Everton and back to Taney. Plays it in. Nicholas Pepe is there. And he hits the foot of the post. Do you have that feeling? I've got that feeling that Leicester are going to score pretty late on here. After we've had a good number of opportunities to score ourselves. We're not going to make any panic changes just yet. We've definitely had the more dominant of the second halves. But with 10 minutes ago, we will finally make some changes. Hector Bellerin can't come off for Malqui. Nicholas Pepe can come off for Reese Nelson. And uh, Kieran Taney can come off for Sied Kolasinac. But with five minutes to go, this might be the most underwhelming way to win the Premier League title. But I do not care. One minute remains. Aubameyang gets his 29th goal of the season. He puts Arsenal 1-0 up. And that, my boys, is the Premier League title in the bag. Arsenal have done it in the first season. Despite Liverpool's domination alongside Manchester City's challenge. We have been too good. And now we have it, lads. The Premier League title to go along with our League Cup. We've completed the objective. The objective was always to challenge for the title. And the fact that we've won it is absolutely amazing. Leicester City nil. Arsenal won. Arsenal, Premier League champions. Arsenal do the double. Our Premier League coming alongside our League Cup win. Board delighted with Club Vision progress. We challenged for the Premier League title for... Two years ahead of schedule. The, winning the Premier League title was four years ahead of schedule. Our boys have done the absolute business. And despite Arsenal perhaps not having the greatest season in real life. Football Manager proves with the right additions. Um, with maybe a little bit of luck and the right tactic. They can definitely compete at the top of the Premier League. And I'm happy with for these boys. They've done absolutely brilliant. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang definitely being the main star. Despite missing three months out, he's still got 21 goals and 24 games in the Premier League. We've still got one game to go. We'll go and play that live. And then we'll wrap up the Premier League season before our Europa League final in the next episode. So the Man City game at the end of the season is just a, just our glory run back at the Emirates Stadium. But I still would like to get the win against one of the best sides of the league. It always leads well leading into a Europa League final. I wouldn't be surprised if our boys are a little complacent though. You know, you've just won the Premier League title. You didn't really need this win. But we're going to go ahead with it anyway. Only changes to the lineup. Uh, Emile Smith Rowe comes in on that left hand side for Everton. Everything else, well, Taney drops to the bench. Kalasnach comes in. Everything else remains the same. Let's get a kick off. So they come at us with a 4 1 2 3. A pretty standard Manchester City lineup. Only changes to what you would normally see as Savage has come in. I think he came in in the summer anyway, so we'll probably already seen him, but I can't really remember at this point. Anyway, let's kick off for our victory lap. Uh, Nicholas Pepe with a free kick early on. 48 seconds in goes for Socrates, and it goes over. Imagine if we won 6 0. Wouldn't that just be like the best thing ever? 12 minutes in now, De Bruyne with a free kick for Man City. Falls to Otamendi in the box. Smith Rowe manages to get it clear, but Walker is first to the ball. Man City retain possession well despite us putting plenty of pressure on the ball carrier. And they are really, really maintaining possession well as Walker receives the ball on the right hand side. Bernardo Silva's in the box. Aguero. Sergio Aguero gets his 26th goal of the season and puts Manchester City up 12 minutes in. It's, it's not the victory lap we had in mind, boys. Uh, maybe just pick it up for the rest of the first half. That would be great. We did. We did dispossess them a couple of times during this highlight, but it always bounced back to them. And they did end up playing the triangles and keeping possession well. But it's not a great start by us. Man City 1-0. Another highlight, and it looks like it's going to be another Manchester City attack with Gundogan. Trying to find Leroy Sanya on that uh, left-hand side for Man City. But we do cut out the pass. Leno gets it, and he doesn't give the ball away. That's nice to see. Emil Smith-Rowe brings it down beautifully. Plays it in Ozil, who finds Pepe or Bamiang's now in behind. And Pierre Emerick or Bamiang is a god. This is the first time I've ever managed or Bamiang, by the way. And he is absolutely sensational. Now, I know he's 30 years old, and it's unlikely Arsenal would ever sell him in the first season on a football manager. But if he ever does become available, just give him a go. He's pretty special. He's 30th goal of the season. Arsenal won, Manchester City won. Another highlight now, it's Man City again coming forward with uh, Gundogan in the centre. Again, they play well and keep possession in the midfield. Bernardo Silva, that's outside the box, ref. You don't need the VAR for that. Oh my God, they've given the penalty as well. 
Sergio Aguero steps up to potentially double his tally for the game and puts Manchester City back 2-1 up. Disappointing by Kolasinac there. Um, it was his challenge that ends up giving the penalty away. I did think it was outside the box, but VAR's confirmed it to be otherwise. So Man City go 2-1 up. Highlight though, Nicholas Pepe with a free kick. Plays it in back post, David Luiz. I mean, I've seen that free kick already this game. Corner for Manchester City, De Bruyne plays it in. Uh, David Luiz does manage to get a clear, but only as far as Leroy Sanier. Rodrigo is getting hounded by our players. Aubameyang close Walker down, and that's what we like to see. Aubameyang's in behind again. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, you are such a beautiful man. He's 31st goal of the season. He's second goal of the game. Arsenal 2, Manchester City 2. Maybe we don't deserve this. <laughs> We've maybe, maybe been a little bit fortunate, but Aubameyang with the closing down, the pressure on Kyle Walker, he couldn't handle it. Edison couldn't keep him out one-on-one. -on -one. We're back level. So the match stats are relatively even in terms of possession and shots and stuff like that. The scoreline is level, Arsenal 2, Man City 2. We'll kick off for the second half. We have already went back to a positive team mentality just to hopefully stop opening ourselves up. Although I don't think that really matters against Manchester City. If they're going to break you down, they're going to pass you to death. As we come forward with Nicolas Pepe in the box. And I mean, that's just an awful, awful strike. I can't even believe that was a highlight. And it probably wasn't. The highlight continues. Ozil finds Emil Smith-Rowe, tries to find Aubameyang in the box. Torreira gets to the loose ball first and we go again down this left-hand side. Smith-Rowe, he's past his man. He gets Aubameyang in the box and that's a great challenge by, uh, I'm assuming it was, oh, it was Savage. It was not a Mendy. Uh, we've got a corner though. Lucas Torreira plays it in and it's cleared. It really is battle of the great strikers in today's game. Aubameyang versus Aguero, both with two goals apiece. Aubameyang has a slightly better average rating though. As Aguero goes close for his hat-rick. <laughs> the highlight does continue though. With Nicolas Pepe on this right-hand side. He drives inside. He goes for goal. And we all... I've seen that highlight about 30 times this season as well. It never goes well. Another highlight now. Nicolas Pepe gets dispossessed on the right-hand side by Leroy Sanya. And Man City can build from the back. Guendouzi though pinches the ball and finds Nicolas Pepe on the right-hand side. Or oh, Bamiang. I'm going to have to have a call chair after this. He has been absolutely sensational, super clinical. He has brought this game back for us in a massive way. That completes his hat-trick. That's his 32nd goal of the season. And that puts Arsenal 3-2 up. What a finish. 15 minutes to go in this match. Is there anyone we want to bring on to seal the deal? I want Aubameyang to get his standing ovation. So Amin Guri. No, it's not going to be a mean. We'll get Lacazette on, despite him not really being that great for us. Uh, Mesut Ozil can stay on the pitch. Who else do we want to get on? I wouldn't mind getting Everton on. He deserves a little bit of a send-off. Uh, he'll come on for Emile Smith-Rowe and Kieran Tini can come on for Siad Kalasnach at that left-back spot. I hope Aubameyang got a stand innovation now when he came off. He certainly should have. Let's see how the rest of this game goes with five minutes to go. Lucas Torreau with a free kick, 89 minutes in. Plays a back post and goes over the bar from a centre-back's header. Third time this game. And that is going to be it for the match. Arsenal 3, Manchester City 2. A fantastic game to, to end the season. And a fantastic way to finish our domestic campaign with Arsenal for the final time. Premier League champions defeat Manchester City. I think that leads us on 94 points. We end up being 9 points clear. From Liverpool in second position. Only two defeats all season. Chelsea and Liverpool are the teams who managed to inflict that upon us. Seven draws and 29 wins. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, despite being injured for three months, finishes top scorer with 24 goals in 25 games in the Premier League. Nicolas Pepe with the top assists. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with the highest average rating. Burnt Leno second with clean sheets. And that is just absolutely fantastic. Let's see some of the messages come through for all the end of season stuff. So here's some of the messages. Aubameyang has won the English Footballer of the Year award. That is no surprise. We'll con uh, congratulate Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on his winner. Players Player of the Year. No surprise there. Top goal scorer we've just mentioned. Beating Sergio Aguero who went for it in the final game as well. Marcus Rashford coming in third. Lucas Torreira was Players Young Player of the Year award, which is fantastic to see. He really did start to blossom in the defensive midfielder role, playing as the deep lion playmaker. Burnt Leno becomes second in the Golden Glove award. We do win Manager of the Year, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Uh, the pleased with me, of course they are. And Arsenal, <laughs> 10 
of your players were selected in the English Premier uh, Division Team of the Year. Everybody bar Everton, basically. Um, our entire side, even Alexander Lacazette, who didn't have that great of a season, got in the, in the striker spot. That is absolutely unbelievable. Our boys have done us proud. In terms of our club vision, then, absolutely pl just passed every single objective within the first season of the five-year campaign in terms of uh, the Premier League. There's only one thing left to do. Win the Europa League. So we've done it, boys. We've won the Premier League. We've completed our objective, which we set out with Arsenal. I'm very, I've am i actually really enjoyed this save. I, I wasn't expecting to enjoy managing a big side so much, but I really, really did. And just Arsenal's wars in real life obviously played an influence in uh, wanting to improve them. But they've got some fantastic players on Football Manager with the likes of Aubameyang. Ozil is actually a great player on Football Manager and performs pretty well for us. Um, if we'll just have a quick look here in terms of the average rate. Lucas Torreira is fantastic. Bellerin is as well. Nicolas Pepe has been an absolute machine. Uh, Mesut Ozil, as I said, didn't really get the numbers in terms of the assists and goals. But he got still got 20 goal contributions in 58 games. Not getting injured with a 7.32 average rating for a player. Playing behind the striker, which I've struggled getting the best out of with like the likes of Sheffield United and stuff. Um... Socrates is a very, very capable centre-back. Kieran Tierney's going to be one of the best left-backs in the game. David Luiz is fantastic. Lacazette, I was a little bit disappointed with Lacazette, to be honest with you, but he still contributed 13 goals in pretty much 30 games in the Premier League. So they've got a fantastic squad, and if you're ever interested, taking over one of the big boys um, who are maybe not performing so well in the league. Arsenal are your team. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, and if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.